Don't you let nobody turn you around. Don't you let nobody turn you around. Don't you let nobody. The Fairfield Four traces its roots back to 1921, when the group was founded in the basement of Nashville's Fairfield Baptist Church. The original members have all passed away, but their legacy continues. We caught up with the newest incarnation of the group in Nashville to talk about their near 100-year history. I grew up watching the Fairfield Four at the Ryman Auditorium. Never had the idea that one day I'd be a member. Why don't you swear? Bass singer Joe Thompson, a cousin of original members Harold and Rufus Carruthers, recalls seeing the group as a boy. We stand on the corner and imitate the Fairfield Four. I didn't know they was related to me at first until my mom told me, but uh, we used to listen to them. That's all we had to listen to when I was coming up. The original Fairfield Four made their first recording in 1941 and performed for over 40 years together, including a 10-year stint on Nashville's WLAC radio. They disbanded in 1962, but a reunion concert in 1980 introduced them to a whole new audience and breathed new life into the group. When someone got sick or when someone passed away, it was always somebody in, that the Lord put in place to step right in, and I think it's a spirit-filled group uh, supplied by the Spirit of the Lord. The rebirth of the group made them so popular that they were signed to Warner Brothers and won their first Grammy in 1992. Since then, they've also recorded with artists like Elvis Costello, John Fogarty, and country singer Leanne Womack. Born by the Virgin Mary. Born, born, born in a Bethlehem. I think the reason so many artists and people reach out to us to be a part of their recording is because um, first they like the sound that we producing, but secondly and most important, I think it's the anointing that's in our singing. If you listen to all of our songs, they all came out of the Bible. And I know it touches some people because I saw one fella with his head on Barry's shoulder crying like a baby. So I know God has got his hands on what we do. In 2000, the Fairfield Four also performed on the soundtrack for the Coen Brothers film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? The eclectic collection of folk, old time country, and gospel songs sold 10 million copies, stunning many in the music industry, but not Laris Bird. I'm not surprised at all. I think the world still wants so much more of that. It's so original. The Fairfield Forest repertoire is a mixture of spirituals, hymns, and an occasional contemporary song, but always with the unmistakable arrangement that is unique to this a cappella group. Swing low, sweet cherry. Singing a cappella, we so self-contained. We can, we can do a show anywhere. We go to the, to the grocery store, we go to the shopping mall, restaurant, and serenade people, and it works out just great. In 2016, the Fairfield Four won a Grammy for Best Roots Gospel Album. It was not just an emotional high point, but also a validation for this newest version of the group. I used to look at people getting them, and I said, why are they crying, why are they doing it? But now I understand that it just, it's really un, explainable how you really feel getting a Grammy. Up until that point, we did feel like uh, we were like in the shadows of the, our predecessors. The Grammy that we received sort of solidified our place. And although they are grateful for the acclaim and awards, the members say they have a higher purpose and a higher calling. We believe that this group was ordained by God and it's been led by God the, all the way. Wherever we sing, the message is the same. We spreading the good news of Jesus Christ through, our, through the words of our song and uh, hoping that we can introduce our Lord and Savior to the ones who haven't accepted Him in their lives. Coming for to carry.